Greetings, friends. It's Ranger Bryson back here in Mrs. Lincoln's kitchen. Today, I wanted to answer for you all some of the most commonly asked questions that I receive on tour in this room and make sure that you get a close-up look at each of those items. So let's get to answering. Yes, a question over here. Yeah, what's that thing over there in the corner? That is a rug beater. You see, Mrs. Lincoln did not have a nice Dyson Ball vacuum cleaner. And this simple tool is how she, the hired girl, perhaps even one of the boys, would clean their rugs and carpets. The streets of Springfield during the Lincoln's time here were dirt, which means loads of dust into the air. And with mostly open windows, that means a lot of cleaning. The carpets would be taken up in their original strips, taken outside, and beaten with the rug beater in order to expel the dust and dirt, and then brought back in and sewn back down to their original location. Excellent question. Yes, one in the back over here. Yeah, Ranger Bryson, what's that piece of furniture over in the corner there? That, my good man, is a dry sink. You see, the Lincolns did not have the luxury of indoor plumbing or running water. So when water was needed, someone would have to go out to either the well pump or the cistern pump to get it. The well would have accessed the groundwater, and the cistern was a large brick container filled by water runoff from the roof. When Mrs. Lincoln would need the use of her sink, someone, likely the hired girl or even herself, would go out to the water pump or the cistern pump and pump it full of water. Once the bucket was full, they would bring it in, dump it in, and repeat until the sink was full. Once filled up, Mrs. Lincoln or the hired girl would be able to wash their fruits, vegetables, dishes, handle their business, and then one bucket at a time through a spigot at the bottom, the sink would be empty. Kind of a pain, but certainly better than no sink. Oh, Ranger? Yes, question over here. Yeah, what's going on underneath the stairs over there? That, my friend, is a washboard, laundry fork, and basket. The laundry basket looks a little different than we're used to today, but still has a very similar functionality. The laundry fork would be used to retrieve laundry out of a boiling pot of water. The laundry would then be scrubbed up against the washboard, rinsed, and hung to dry. When dry, the laundry would be ironed, with the irons you see in the warming rack of the stove behind me, and then folded and put away. Excellent question. These are a few of the common questions that I receive while on tour in Mrs. Lincoln's kitchen. How long do you think it would take you to do your laundry chores using the same method that the Lincolns did? Could you live without running water? Is there anything else in this kitchen that you see that you'd like to know more about? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on At Home with the Lincolns.